So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. Championship fight. Chung is two years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Chan. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fit. Ready. is palpable as this fight gets underway and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out a definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all and in those situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how it plays out well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the jump effective punch there by both stuffs that takedown attempt without issue and he landed the right hand there. While well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing.
guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and is able to land the right hand next. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovsky will change levels, explode it to you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for it wide. He's got a full on mixed martial arts fight. Takedown defense holds up. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Big, big land. Circling towards the left now. Swing and a big miss by the Korean Zomb. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And that one certainly found the target. He blocks the punch. Oh, collar tie. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big double leg, double Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Volkanovsky. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Zombie. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Taken back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Chan Sung Jung. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. I mean, how many can he take? All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Sound strike on the ground. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Volkanovski. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, the Korean Zombie's got his head looking for a guillotine. the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round.
All right, here we go now, champ. Round two, Ready, Alexander fight. Volkanovsky Ready. and the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jin. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch by the Korean zombie. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Spinning back fist. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie plump. The Korean zombie gets hit by that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. The Korean zombie gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Down, no problem. Oh, that's a good strike there by Volka. 85 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And landing at a 52% clip tonight against the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, big head kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Leg kick. Two minutes remain in the round. Spinning back fist. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down. Oh! Korean Zombie gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big kick land. Slips that left hand. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Volkanovski. And they separate. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Volkanovski. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that dirty boxing, another big sequence there. Well, the Korean Zombie's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Stuff to take down, no problem. Final seconds. Jump gets caught with that punch. 
punch. He'd be wise to get those hip tosses. Up. He takes him down now. We'll see what he can do. Right into side control. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there! Man! Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Misses with the right hand. Nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. Well, this fighter can go all day. 159 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. And if you care at home, the accuracy right now, 53% against the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, huge right hand. Back to the feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the... Wow, actually got the takedown. Three minutes remain in the run. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Nice hammer fist. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Kill that guy. Up, drop out. Under two minutes to go in the round. And Chung's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. The ground and pound has been there all night. Good work from the top here by Volta. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, he might be out. to apply pressure. 
pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice leg kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Take down a Jeff late in the round and he gets it. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 15 seconds. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's got That's it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He got it. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by So there he is, the still UFC featherweight champion of the world, and he really prioritized getting the finish here tonight, successfully defends the belt, and gets the knockout that he desired. He's a great fighter. He is just everything you want a champion to be. He has great cardio, great pressure, great wrestling. He does everything right, and you understand why he's the UFC champion.